There's a petition going around to have John removed from the church. What? I thought you knew. It's been circulating for like two weeks now. Sunday was the final straw. Megan, come on, don't you Josh. Guys, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to. John, the folks around here just don't understand your method of celebrating. You know, you really embarrassed the kids this time. Are you embarrassed? I can't help it. I mean, when I feel the spirit, it just flows out of me. Why can't he be like normal dads? That's not how God made him. And all that running around and screaming and hollering. So you're putting me out of the church. I'm tired of moving. I promise I won't do it again. Right? I'll, I'll control it. Son, uh, this is a good thing. It, it's a promotion for you. I can't believe you won't stay in me, Pastor Carson. Now, how embarrassing is this? The bishop's gonna send down a white pastor to a black church. So, who are you here with? I'm your new pastor. Oh. I'm not on board with this at all. And I am going to do everything in my power to get him voted out of here. And as it turns out, you are at the wrong church. Bobby, you ready to take over the church? You still banned. Basketball, anybody play basketball? I'm not Joe Louis Windows, okay? <laughs> This fornication is a sin against the body. You know, over the past six months, we've lost 293 members. How do we get the members to come back to the church? How can I fix this? First of all, by going to God on bended knee and asking his forgiveness. Hey, did you uh, see who tripped me?